3080 and PS5 pre-orders just came out and within minutes has been sold out. Where should you buy them? Well, we'll discuss it right after this. But before that, let's introduce our uh, our guests and me as the host. So FGT here with our guest is Tempuraho, also known as Lemon. And we got a new guest, which is the Joker. Say hi. Hey. Hello. And we'll start the intro. Hope it works. Uh, it counts as an intro. It's fine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, that doesn't work. What doesn't uh, work? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess. Um, I will, I will, I will share my OBS for you all to see. Hold up, there you go. Because you, since you guys playing video games, that's fine. So basically, with me, uh, lemon, but he's changed his username to Tempura Ho because, well, it is what it is. Yeah, then the I'm Joker. Home. So um, basically, they are playing video games while we're talking about the, the our, our topic. So it's fine. It's kind of a, a slow day this week. I uh, know for us, but it's quite a hectic week for tech news and any news in that matter for gaming, surely. So, um, so much things to do, so much things to say, so little time. So let's just get to it then. So let's open up with a PS5 showcase. So PS5 just come out and I don't know why I have this. There you go. Don't play that video. Okay, PS5 just come out with their PS5 showcase, which is like 40 minutes long. And they covered pretty much what they featured in in, in the previous uh, rumors and previous videos of the PS5. So basically, they're just showcasing video games and that's pretty much it. So basically, if you already watched the video, we don't, we're not covering what they already showed in the video. It's just we are just telling you that it's, it's, it's surprising to see that the PS5 will be releasing, releasing so close to the Xbox, which is days away. Xbox One X and S will be releasing on 10 September, and the Xbox uh, and the PS5 and the PS5 Digital Edition will be coming out on 12 uh, September, but on certain locations like the US, Japan, Korea, just to name a few, and for the worldwide is 16 September. So they're gonna be interesting. But obviously, it's a limited amount because of the uh, quarantine of the MCO and COVID-19. That's kind of sad. So we'll talk about the limited um, supply of PS5s a bit later. So the things that I want to talk about, which is really confusing, is the uh, exclusives and the P PS4 games that are playable on the PS5 and PS5 games that are going to be released on the PS4. So uh, as you can see right now, Sony confirmed PS5 party launch lineup and free game update plans for PS4 titles. Um, as you all know, they, they, they featured some of the games like Demon's Souls Remastered, um, Spider-Man Miles Morales, uh, Sackboy A Big Adventure, The Destruction All Stars, and also Asteroids Play Playroom. So let's just touch on uh, just a few games that they say going to be available for the PS4. So for example, Marvel's Spider-Man uh, Miles Morales, they say that game is going to be released both for the PS5 and the PS4. And vice and vice versa for PS4 games. PS4 games is going to be playable on PS5 in a PlayStation based PS PS Online. What did they call it again? PS9, uh, PS, PS PS Online Black? Collection. PS Plus Collection, oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. So the PS5 collection will be f uh, will feature PS4 games that are ready to play for the PS5 and PS5 Digital Edition. So um, just to put you right off the bat, what you guys thought of this this move by Sony? Are they is is it a good move? Is it a is it a mix uh, opinions kind of deal? Because in my opinion, Sony should have like announced it properly or like disclose it, and in a way that we we could understand in in uh, right off the bat because it's it seems very uh blurry right now the line of compatibility and how it should work uh mm -hmm. in, in in previous consoles 
like like the game should, should is is it working right out of the bat or should we wait for a different launch date for for that certain game um is 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 the game like you need do you need to rebuy the game if you already own your PS5 or do you need to buy a specific PS4 edition of the PS5 game or vice versa so i just want to know your thoughts on it so i guess i start with this person uh when it, so i went to the microsoft store and browsed through the xbox store too and they have like pretty big selection but for playstation it's quite limited i mean yeah you can see the exclusive games but it's still a small uh selection yeah there are some games that i would like to play again but I I would like to have more selection. You know, it would be nice to have more selection, and with that price and hardware. Mm-hmm. Um, also, the 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 backward compatibility is still a go, right? Or is it not? It's it's kind of hazy because they didn't disclose that a previous title won't work. They just haven't confirmed yet. But they also did not deny anything that it won't work. So you see the confusion there? Yeah. So if they actually like have a selection to to play uh Last Dance game, mm-hmm. then I will definitely try since mm-hmm. uh my brother owns a PlayStation. Mm-hmm. And but then again, it's PS5, so mm, I might not be able to like purchase it and play it now. Mm-hmm. And with the lack of um selection and store in games mm-hmm. and plus you have to pay for the monthly fee yes but you have to go to the uh, some some shops provides the what's called PSN network mm-hmm. uh gift cards like a month payment i think it was around uh 50 is it 50 to 80 mm-hmm. per month just to access the online and there are some good offers where you get free stuff but are they going to do the same for PS5 nobody knows it's still in the dark to be honest in my mm-hmm. part I think that's that's I can I like form from all of that. Mm-hmm. Joker, do you have anything to put in? I uh, honestly I haven't watched the trailer for it. Mm-hmm. I mean the what they will provide with the uh, uh, PS5 and all. Mm-hmm. It's. Uh, I mean, you can browse it like now. Okay, yeah, to give, yeah. but to give you just a rundown on what they will be releasing it with, it's just a bare bone, uh, PS Five game, so a mm-hmm. PS Five console with a controller, and that's pretty much it. But um, they say they did include Astro Astro's Playroom pre-installed in all the PS Five uh, consoles, which is both PS Five and PS Five Digital mm-hmm. Edition. Astro's Playroom is basically like a tech demo when you actually. It's the same thing wh- when when they release the PS4. They have this uh cute uh little robot thing that you can play around with from your controller that actually showing features on what the controller can do with the gyroscope, with the mic, with the speakers, uh with the rumble and uh, pretty much what the PS4 can do. If you got a PS4 camera, they will show you like oh it supports AR and what not. So it's pretty much the same thing. So that's what they included it with but the features that they coming out with with the games with the compatibility that's what kind of hazy right now mm-hmm. so for yeah. example if someone actually were to told you oh you can actually buy the PS5 knowing that it compatible previous generation okay what generation yes it doesn't make sense so we don't have a clear answer from Nintendo's part even though they already disclosed an answer question mark so to look in a perspective in a way where uh, uh industry this this gaming industry is being leading to they don't want to uh dissatisfy their investors so if for example gamers are satisfied with something that they are being given with uh-huh. but mind you as gamers uh, uh the ordinary the ordinary gamer or muta he actually pointed out that we are as gamers we are spoiled overly spoiled we getting everything like ray tracing uh dlss we getting uh like pre- pretty much the leading edge of technology that could be used on something on some some other industry 
but we got it first and up hand because of it. And, and it's within our reach. Exactly. It's off the shelf, mind you. Ray tracing was a glimpse back in 2007 when people are just, it's just like, oh, what if NASA have this simulation to actually recreate space, uh, the whole Milky Way, but instead, mm. And all that, all that money is flushed down into gaming. Like, mind you, if S- Sony and Microsoft didn't flush in that kind of uh, money and put into something other industries, uh, who who know what could happen? But seeing it, seeing it, gaming being the like one of the top uh, leading industry in the whole world, mind you, it's kind of bizarre, but not surprising at the same time. So, um, Sony, I it's kind it's kind of hazy. Like I said, um, to say, so would you actually buy PS5 just because it's compatible with PS1 games? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, the, the experience is different. Uh, when you play like uh, PS1 uh, games on emulator or something like that, mm-hmm. it's, it's different from playing uh, in consoles. You know how... PlayStation fanatics, so people who not who are nostalgic to PS One mm-hmm. will feel about it, you know. Yes. I the, the the start when you when you play the, when you open the PlayStation itself, the the, the loading and all, <laughs> it's it's a different feel. Because it, the, the nostalgia factor that it gets you, that's that's why it's that. So, but here's the thing: it they didn't deny it, but doesn't, but they didn't disclose it either. So it's sort of hazy. So people who are buying PS Five right now, blindly thinking that it was a port, it's kind of in trouble because they they don't even know yet, or it already been tested yet because they they don't outright say it like, oh, it does support. So it's, it's kind of scummy move. So we have to wait until someone actually get their hands on a PS PlayStation. So we're gonna wait for that. Okay, so moving on to the 3080. 3080 mm-hmm. just released. Um, mm-hmm. Wait. That's after a shit storm, you could say. There's something, something wrong with the release, basically. So, um, basically, what, what I'm trying to convey is when, when the PlayStation, when, or when the 3080 released, when announced, it was over... I, would, I don't want to say it was overhyped. I guess the marketing make it looks like you should upgrade now. Like, <laughs> literally, right now, which you shouldn't. So, we did discuss about 380 specs and 380 uh, features back then, uh, back uh, in, in our previous podcast. But we don't actually talk about the availability or the, the how to put it, the, the future price. release of different AIBs from different manufacturers. All we talk about is just pure, purely the 380 itself. So now... Yeah, the features and all. Yeah, so now the pre-order already been will be sent sent out people already pre-order it same thing what happened with the ps5 pre-order came out within minutes sold out everywhere in the us in the europe i believe in southeast asia even how is southeast asia we have this place called laoyat uh especially in malaysia even laoyat couldn't disclose any sort of pre-order right now because it's already been sold out fully they only accept pre-built systems with the 3080 which is kind of bullshit so 3080 how to put it so people have people have been discussing like oh you shouldn't panic selling or panic buying this this new graphics card people bunch of people saying that you should wait until the benchmark come out then you'll know so we won't covering benchmarks we um we we don't have the 3080 obviously we're not benchmarkers we're just gamers but i will put links on uh some of the youtube videos that actually cover it like gamers nexus talk about the temperatures talk about the uh, the, the the pcb itself other aibs that that's uh, sub, uh that already been released 
um, Jay Z Two Cents, Linus Tech Tips, Bitwit, all that good tech tip. I will link it. Go take a look. Those are the benchmark numbers. But what we're going to cover is the scars of graphics card. So not just the Founders Edition, but other AIBs as well. AIB is basically other partnering boards like Zotac, uh, Asus, MSI, and Gigabyte and all that. Uh, Aorus, Gigabyte Aorus. So if I were to, if you, if, if you guys were to look at the uh, eBay price, price listing, they are technically pre uh, uh, resellers. They are selling pre confirmed pre-orders of the 3080. So you can see Zotac is selling, uh, uh, Founders Editions are, are, are selling, but the weird part is, released. hmm, it's not released yet. It's pre-ordered. That's the thing. Pre-ordered, yeah. confirm, sell, uh, uh, sell, sell listing. Yeah. So, mind you, the thirty eighty is selling MSRP six ninety nine, and the listing goes on for more than that, mind you. There are some bidding up to like a, uh, thousands even, four digit numbers, which is crazy. So that's not even an upgrade. That's just a, that's just insanity at this point. Yeah. So the eBay, the, 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 so basically what we call these people are scalpers. Um, so people who buy things that are in low in low supply but high demand and reselling it for higher value. So these scalpers uh, try to profit off people who wanting that certain uh, to who trying to 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 meet a certain demand who want that certain product. For example, right now it's the thirty eighty. So pre orders all over the place are sold out, which people are pissed and they don't they want it fast. So. Consumers like us don't have the luxury to pay this kind of amount of bid this kind of amount to even get the 3080. But people who are, that's why, let's, let's take um, professional esports players who want the latest uh, hardware, uh, content creators who, tech, tech content creators who aren't big enough, they just want to cover, they don't have the luxury of um, exclusivity from NVIDIA to get a sample or to get a card to benchmark or showcase um, industry and leading uh, companies. Okay. But uh, in industry leading companies, obviously they will have, but like small indie companies who cannot afford a quadro card, but the, the 3080 fits, fits what they want, but they need to fi flush in a bit more just because they couldn't find anything in, uh, in stock. So it's quite a shitty move. So, and the sad part is, is isn't just happening on the thirty eighty. Remember what I said with the PS five. Same thing. Oh, PS five. Even even before uh, when MCO hits in Malaysia, scalpers are already on the move in our local uh, area. Mm -hmm. They've been like picking up everything they can and reselling it in a higher value. Back then, like early early this year, and it's happening to. 380 and PS5. Mm -hmm. Remember, remember when uh, the Bitcoin farming came. Oh my people, god! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, people were buying the RX 570, mm -hmm. the the cheapest 8 gig card. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I was actually willing to, wa I wanted to buy that card, and mm -hmm. uh, literally did, didn't find any similar in any way for any any like any company for the rx570 mm -hmm. i couldn't find any uh, at any place now yet because searching. you told me before yeah yeah <laughs> you told me to I find asked, it i, I even i tried you, to find yeah. contacts i couldn't find any so it's kind of the same thing when there's something new there's a new hype people will be like buying crazy amount reselling it uh, higher in different markets mm -hmm. not the usual one so pretty much it's 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 not a it's not a one-time thing it's a, like a seasonal thing 
every time there's a new thing come yeah. out which which have a which have a hype factor obviously people will want it so bad so this like like you said with the uh, with a bitcoin mining thing uh yeah. with the mcu with the quarantine thing it's pretty much the same thing all over again so ps5 like i said is being uh marketed at 499 but inside ebay is being listed for 800 700 even thousands which is bizarre for someone to actually do this so to <laughs> this one which is the selling <laughs> ps5 drawing limited edition for <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it, it is what it is Maybe i mean it general. works they managed to put it on wait it's sold, sold? <laughs> it's sold <laughs> it's sold out yeah it's the ps5 wow. someone actually bought wow you know this thing oh, is ended they're like, gonna have a bad day they're yes. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna have a good day after that i don't We can, at least we can look at the pin. <laughs> Got three different angle of pictures. <laughs> yeah, we have 2D and 2D I, and 3D. <laughs> I like how may not ship to Malaysia like I care. Lol. God. Oh. I I guess money talks. Next. Okay, so uh, basically people are saying okay like this. They are selling confirmed pre-orders. Of the PS5, four ninety nine, but they reselling it for what? A thousand. Bizarre, that's unfucking believable. Like, so these are these aren't these not bidders. These are like selling it at a higher price. If you want it, you need to pay a premium, which which you shouldn't do. So basically, first come first serve. Yes, but don't do this. So please don't do this. It's disgusting. It's it's not just a dick. It's that's a special special place in hell for you, if you do these kind of shit. Uh, six ninety nine isn't that bad, but it's still expensive. My uh, view. At the end, it's marketing. Yeah. So, but here's the good thing though. So scalpers, obviously, knowing the internet, there will be trolls. So if I were to scroll down, you will see. 3080 Zotac selling for 10,000. There's like five figures right there. 49,000, 20,000. Like holy shit, people will actually buy this? No. What these people do is they make several or like uh, a few fake accounts, eBay accounts, and put that listing there. And you might be asking like, don't they need to pay? No. Technically, in a sense, what they don't need to pay. All they need to do is just place a number. Hoping that number will rack up, and eventually, if they if that bidding were to close, and they need to they need to disclose a payment, they don't even need to pay at all. Obviously, eBay uh, rules and regulations say that if you were to do this, your account will be banned. But mind you, these are spam accounts; they don't even care. So people can make fifty dozens amount of accounts like these if they were to like if if they were uh, um um uh, have the time to do so, have the luxury of time. To even do this, uh, I know it's a wasting of time, but at least scalpers cannot prey on people who actually want these kind of cards. You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of sad to see like people who are, uh, people like scalpers like um, forcing people like, oh, if you want the best, I got it. Like, money, please. Well, sure, but not everyone got that kind of money. That's why when we saw that pricing. I was kind of skeptical, like that that for that performance with that kind of pricing is kind of ridiculous. But after seeing what what happened to the pre-orders, like yeah, this it's pretty much the, the hype is real. People will actually pay to actually buy buy the the latest thing, and I think just to flex, I guess, for consumers like us. But people who actually need it and want it, yeah, that's a reason for it, obviously. So, what you guys yeah. thought on the, on on the whole scalpers and trolling thing? I mean, we can't take down every scalper in the world. That would be mm -hmm. insanity, because mm -hmm. those guys are endless to begin with. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe a while it, it'll be a wild goose chase, basically. <laughs> yeah. 
and I guess it's, it's up to us to like realize what is going on, why mm-hmm. the pricing is like that. It's it's basically consumer awareness. Mm-hmm. Uh, your common sense. I mean, if you don't have common sense to begin with, then why are you still living here? And let's hope next year's flex can get to you. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, yeah, it's all about common sense. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't hurt for you to ask someone that is uh, well-versed on this kind of thing. Yeah, Maybe exactly. You, I mean, you can go to um, friends who are known for this kind of stuff maybe you ask the store like official stores at, get least, to at least on youtube or forums of forums, forums yeah. can work too mm-hmm. it doesn't hurt to ask there's nothing exactly. wrong with asking unless that the 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 the, the, the one who's answering is an asshole then i guess you change that's all you can yeah, do yeah that's correct it's thirty thousand dollars exactly <laughs> I mean, we have eight billion eight billion now right around the world so yeah. So one bound to answer you. It's exactly. not one, a hundred more. I mean, pe- humans are humans. They're willing to help you or they're willing not to help you. Either exactly. way, just ask. Meanwhile, with this kind of economy, yeah, people might tend to lie. So yeah. be careful. Yeah. So, Abdul, uh, uh, seeing you've been into this kind of uh, trouble with your uh, graphics card like you're trying to find what's what's your like uh, views on it like like i like i know it's it's i i know what you've been through trying to find that specific graphics card it's shitty it's it's quite a hellish way to uh, even find that card yeah. so what uh, how, how do you overcome that shit it's basically lots and lots of reviews and youtube videos Mm-hmm. and looking into uh, the heat from each card uh, performance with the price is it worth it is it not mm-hmm. all that compiled together uh, you just came up with a list of like at least three mm-hmm. top cards in my that I needed uh, like to get I, I can get that mm-hmm. I can get yeah so Eventually, I bought the RX 570 XXT mm-hmm. Red Devil uh, yeah. power co- uh, color, and it's working well. It's the best thing I could get. Because for because like, you legitimately using that graphics card for work as well as gaming. For anything. Yes. Yeah. For anything. Uh, previously, I used to. I do montage for work mm-hmm. so my previous card was two gigabytes of uh, media oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that, they're gonna cut it uh, that ain't gonna cut yeah. it man. <laughs> i've so, i've 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 been through that uh 6970 <laughs> phase yeah 6970 exactly. was like it was it was it was gt gt 640 <laughs> yes that, it's pretty much the same spec so imagine rendering I, we we do like 1080 back then was like 4k yeah. So I we we like, we oh, had man, I like wish it's I had super <laughs> harsh. It's it's it sucks. Yeah. And so. I was I was in between. By the way, I was in between buying uh, twenty sixty or the RX five seventy. Mm-hmm. But at the end. But eventually you price, got what you get. So yeah. yeah. At least you didn't blow out your bank to even get a graphics card, which is good. Exactly. You know, you buy within your within your means and uh, actually get to use it for work. Okay, so I think we can disclose that topic and we can move on to a uh, lighter, um, t- uh, lighter subject. <laughs> but before, before that, he, um, he got stressed. <laughs> I was I was so fucking stressed. Out. You have no fucking clue. <laughs> okay, um, before that, uh, let's um uh, have a moment of silence for our. Uh, our beloved Nintendo 3DS, who which just has been discontinued after ten years of release. Let's let's hope you put in the the trumpet thing. The, the, the. I, 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 I can hear it in my head <laughs> when he said, <laughs> "Moment of silence." <laughs> <laughs> Are you 
even forgot how they do the Wait, that's the wedding. <laughs> that's the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so why are we singing a wedding song for a funeral? You did. I was thinking of something else. No, I, 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 already, I already said that. Like that. I forgot. No, that's the one. I forgot. I forgot how the tune goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know my wedding noises. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. So so uh, this is an article from The Verge where um it's been official from Nintendo that they officially uh discontinued the 3DS lineup. Uh okay. what this mean is they will stop releasing it's I think we already confirmed that 3DS games will be stopped releasing on 3DS itself and also the now is the console. So the console will be discontinued. Uh which is which is people are kind of bummed out. Obviously, 3DS have a rocky start up when Iwata first announced it. It doesn't have much exclusive. The game is kind mm-hmm. of lacking. Um, but it sort of uh, gained popularity after the years with Pokemon, Zelda, uh, Mario, um, what else? Uh, uh, I, I, uh, Yokai Watch and all that good shit. And people start loving it because of that. Because of that... Uh, release and virtual console releasing so we we don't need to own an old console we can just re-replay it on the 3ds itself so it's kind of amazing but yeah. seeing it being discontinued w- moving forward i don't think let's 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 look at it in a way where will people actually start buying or collecting 3ds's now no not 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 right off the bat you know because they are still 3ds's are uh, selling out there but i can see people start marking up the price like oh we'll be discontinued you cannot find it anywhere else this no 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 3ds are still selling in normal stores right now you can buy it at msrp or lower because they're trying to like sell it out they don't want in their stores because they want new item basically discontinued items will not be in stores and basically they will put it in a bargain bin for example so target gamestop um uh any uh, 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 gaming store to say like like in the US and in Australia EB Games will obviously trying to push the 3DS sales out their window and they were trying to put in the new Switch which is coming out next year so should you panic buy the 3DS and 3DS games no you can just wait until Christmas you know when the price go just just tank down get it for like 50 bucks the 2DS or the 2DS XL pretty dirt mm-hmm. cheap and you can pretty much pick up any game for like five dollars a piece a used one as well um, some Pokemon's one can can go a bit high but you don't you don't have to you can buy uh, digital online for on sale as well which they have uh, every now and then on Christmas especially but um, so yeah yeah it's 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 kind of sad so But a uh, good news from Nintendo as well, Nintendo Direct Mini, which showcased bunch of games, which is super hyped about that that, that we all we all are hyped up uh, about. Uh, not because of Nintendo releasing a, uh, uh, a first party title. Basically, it's a partner title, which is uh, a third party uh, games that we'll be releasing on the Switch. So one of them will be Monster Hunter. We won't be covering. All the Nintendo Direct Mini, but just 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 a handful. So um, if I were to pull up a YouTube video, everything will be flipped because of copyright reason. So I will just go through. So the first thing that they showed is the Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter Series Two, um, which me and Lemon are very excited about. Sadly, the Joker <laughs> never heard. Of uh, Monster Hunter, but never played it. If I'm not mistaken, I I heard of Monster Hunter, but never played it. How how do you heard uh, Monster Hunter from? Like from a friend, he was like, "Dude, come join us. This game is the shit." Like he super 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 hyped up on uh on 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 the game itself. Yeah, he, it? he basically plays it every day. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, that's that's pretty much us. We we go to the base uh, Monster Hunter World game. Yep. Which is yeah. Is, oh, holy shit! Um, yeah, same. Uh, that that was like actually last year or something like that. I think it's mo- I think almost two years already. I think oh, most right. most of them are like burnt out of content because they don't know where to like, or probably they play it alone. I mean, you can have fun playing alone, but then again, mm-hmm. you you have that 
lacking of interaction with other hunters mm-hmm. and your your sense of progression sense of progression just halted because you already finished the story you don't know what to do and all mm-hmm. you have is just higher difficulty monsters yes it's artificial difficulty but that's how you get that gear you know higher difficulty higher uh, tier of materials that you will get not only that you can find there's, there's even like communities that are built to with to withstand not really withstand like to go against higher difficulty and i mean cheesing is a thing mm-hmm. but then again you can play it normally mm-hmm. but some people don't want to go that fully committed to that so mm-hmm. they just burn out and just leave the game for you know for the next dlc which is iceborne and this happens again in iceborne but funny enough there's a few monsters that you know a casual deleter <laughs> <laughs> a casual remover is it uh, whichever uh definition you prefer yeah and it was a quite a fun experience to ask people who are just casual playing it and ask you know hey did you manage to beat this monster and it's like i've been trying it for 13 times i'm still losing and it's been four hours eight hours plus and i'm still losing it doing it but hey that's part of the game you never you never tried going against a higher artificial difficulty so That's how. That's why you fail to get the rewards or finish the quest. Yeah, that's what. What much. That's yeah. That's basically it. <sighs> so Abdul, um, from your perspective, what what's your thoughts on Monster Hunter itself? Like they they release a new content. So basically, I'm just gonna give you a rundown on what they're releasing. So um, uh, like like I I before we start podcast, I did give you a rundown on what Monster Hunter is all about. Um, I know you're not that kind of player who will actually play Monster Hunter Rise, but or any Monster Hunter game in that pers- uh, in in that matter. But it is is will will you give it a try at some point? Yeah, I might. I like the idea, but the thing is uh, that that I like everything about the game, but it's uh, uh, the the, game the items itself. and yeah, the items and the crafting and all this stuff. It's it's too much. <laughs> that that kind of game style, I, mm-hmm. it's not my thing. Like uh, Dark Souls, and Dark, similar uh, games. Yeah, yeah. Because because they they have a certain amount of uh, s- steep learning curve that you need to properly yeah. get into. Like if if you cannot get through that certain, if you cannot break that level of. Uh, limitation that you have within that game, it's you're gonna stuck there forever. So you need to like properly look into tutorials at some point. You need to t- look at walkthroughs, and you need to learn how properly t- how to properly play the game and use the features to the fullest. So that's yeah, that's exactly. not maybe that's not maybe if I was like playing the game since beta or something like that, mm-hmm. or from the first release, I might BSP, like. Of course, yeah. I might like it. Yeah, I mm-hmm. might like it. Okay, so um. If if you guys can see on the screen, uh, there'll be there'll be two 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 new Monster Hunter be releasing like I said, the Rise and the Monster Hunter Stories 2. So Monster Hunter Stories One, uh, Stories One came out for the 3DS and then for the Android and iOS. Um, it's 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 basically a spinoff from the original Monster Monster Hunter series. It doesn't have the that that crucial uh hunting per se, but instead you befriending the monsters. Which sort of defeat the purpose of actually playing Monster Hunter game. Um, not trying to throw them off uh, under the bus or anything. It's just that I I like the new uh, aspect of actually befriending a monster in the game. But it's sort of like okay, but like so it's for kids now. You know, I uh, I think it's a casual comfort. You know. Yeah, yeah. So we have a. But if you spare money to spend by that game, and then you can, be, it's like one of those Monster Hunter in uh, games in mobiles, you know, mm-hmm. in phone. Yeah, I think that's how they're trying to like. I mean, they want to cash in as much as people they can, right? Mm-hmm. So this is one of the way they could do. Uh, and remind me of uh, how to train your dragon, basically. <laughs> ah, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much. So, so if you can look at this still, like a mo- uh, I don't think she's a hunter, but she's like. Hugging Ratalos, which is one of the one of the monsters in the game, mascot of the game basically. So uh, enough of Monster Hunter stories. Not really into that. It's it's just a spin off of the a sequel of a spin off in the previous title, which is fine. So um, 
let's uh let's move on to uh, uh let's let's just skim to Nintendo Direct. So you have a uh, Fit Boxing, I guess. What do you call this? Basically, a boxing game for basically a Wii Fit bootleg <laughs> for for the Switch. Um, and then you have a uh, this this Gaia Six. I didn't know they have a sixth one uh, or fifth one up to now. <laughs> Not really into that. Um, they're going to be a sniper elite. Uh, Italia going to be released. A new mafia uh, top down like XCOM game going to be released. A new golf game going to be released. A PGA Tour 2K21. Um, mm-hmm. A new open world uh, stylized game. It looks very. Uh, uh, it looks. It, it reminds me of. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Spiral game, it, the gameplay looks like it, you know. Oh. Yeah, if if I were to play the gameplay right now, it it looks something like that. So you yeah, like collectibles, uh, you got bosses, with like oh I see I see, yeah something like that. Remind me of Spiral, Spiral or Cash Bandicoot yeah. or something, and you can play local co-op obviously locally. Spiral or my favorite man. Yeah, it's it's a platform game but semi open world. It looks very cute in the art style. I love it. Um, I might pick it up on a sale. Looks very promising. March twenty six, yeah. right after uh, Monster Hunter. Square I think Enix. I think I think the same day as Monster Hunter. Okay, and then you got a uh Rune Factory six. Uh, you know Rune Factory five. Sorry, which is uh coming up. Which is uh it's it's like a uh, Harvest Moon, but better and more RPG like. I don't know. I haven't played any Rune Factory games, but I do play uh. Uh, Harvest Moon and uh, what's the other one? I think you you played before. Uh, Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley. There you go. So it's pretty much a farming simulator with an RPG element, like JRPG element in it. So can't wait for that. And also a uh, 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 a limited edition uh, Ori and the Blind Forest, the first and the second game, going to be uh, going to be released in a uh, limited edition box you, that you can pre order right now. So if you can see on the screen. Uh, they contain two of the game, uh, some uh art postcard, a pin or a keychain. You got this cute uh uh ID size card, and you got two art books for for the first and for the second game. So it's basically a complete collection in this cute little box. Um, that if you're an avid collector, you might get it. If you're a huge fan of the game but don't have don't uh you only play it on PC or any other console, but you want to play it on the uh Switch. There you go. Or you actually want to buy but haven't owned in any consoles yet when you have the Switch. There you go. And I assume it's a steel box uh, game case that you can uh, put two cartridges in it, which is super cool. I would like to see that. Um, am, am I going to pre-order it? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a, that avid of a collector. And I'm not, a, I'm not saying I'm not a huge fan of it. I really want to play it. I might pick it up, but not right off the bat. I might pick up a normal, normal version. I might not pick it up the uh, limited one. So um, you'll have to see about that. So pushing everything away, let's go on to uh to to the mean and greedy part of uh the direct, which is the Monster Hunter. So they cover a lot of things. So uh, I think uh, what 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 do they actually call the grappling thing? It's just grappling hook, right? No, uh, first is. Grappling clutch. Claw. Clutch, claw, clutch. Claw. clutch claw clutch claw clutch claw there you go clutch I'm sorry claw. I haven't I haven't played the game for quite a while it's very scarce first, first it's just grappling code because of the uh, the uh, what's called the the beetle on the uh, some trees and platforms yeah. Yeah. so it's just a grapple then they use clutch claw thing to clutch monsters and now they were using what fly they call clutch? it the wire bug wire bug okay so. So basically, in in the previous Monster Hunter, you have this thing called Clutch Claw and the uh, a Boy latch bond. bug, latching bug. I forgot what it is, but you can pretty much latch onto that bug and climb into a certain uh, a certain areas faster. You can use the Clutch Claw to clutch onto monsters and weaken some of their parts. Now, on the new Monster Hunter Rise, they actually have this thing called the Wire Bug, which you can pretty much uh, clutch onto anything. Which yeah. there were. So basically, the bug will be the place where you clutch onto, you grapple onto, and you can swig pretty much anywhere else. So pretty much, you, as you can see inside the video itself. So that's that's pretty much how uh, the clutch claw actually goes. 
So um, that's one of the features uh, in terms of gameplay and mechanics. So pretty much you can use it in combat as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I want to see it with a insect glaive. Imagine that. So insect glaive is a weapon inside uh, Monster Hunter where pretty much the floor is lava. You can fly and float pretty much anywhere. But imagine you can literally not touch the ground from the camp right up until killing the monster itself. So, uh, but I don't know how the mechanics actually played out. So I assume there will there'll be limitations in terms of like stamina usage or how can you use it? Uh, how much uh, is, is, is it, is it uh, counts to your weight? Like for example, if you're using a great sword, it'd be heavier. If you're using a, a lighter weapon, like a dual sword will be, will be faster. So we don't know. So moving on, we have several monsters that uh, that that have uh, that, that they add in. So uh, monsters like um, Hacknasum, it looks like a peacock, or like a pharaoh from Pokemon. <laughs> and we got. <laughs> I, I don't know why comparing. It is, it is what it is. Tetranodon, it looks like a frog. Kadil. <laughs> um, it, I, it does have a small feature on the lips looking like a fucking duck, but yeah, hold I on, let know, me... man. It's, it's a mix of three creatures, I guess. Four yeah. legged thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Frog, 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 duck, 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 and he frog rushes dial. towards you, it's kind of scary. <laughs> oh. Then, then we got Great Izuchi. Basically, mm -hmm. Great Izuchi is a monster that uh, move or attacks in a flock or in a group, in a pack where they will attack in a sequence um, in a way how normal monster hunter goes which uh, uh, some uh, where all monsters have a certain attack patterns so for example mm -hmm. the great izuchi will attack for example uh, in doubles or in triples even and the damage multiplies so you need to be careful with that um, obviously with every monster hunter release there's always going to be an exclusive uh, legendary monster that you can hunt which is in here is a Magnamolo? Magnamolo. It looks like a amped up Teostra uh, without wings. So if you don't know what Teostra is, is uh, let me pull up a picture of Teostra. So that's what Teostra should look like. It looks like a lion with devil horns and a wing. But mm. imagine cut, uh, cut the wings and that's pretty much it. Yeah. With a few more features in it. So that's uh, pretty that much my normal. That's the tail of the snake. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So I will I will I will move on to the uh to the features. Like the wire we already covered the wire bug. Okay, uh, we already covered the monsters, but okay, now you can see that the 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 show they're showcasing how the wire bug actually being played out. You can pretty much climb anywhere, wall climb. Uh, 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 wall run as well and that's pretty bizarre because in previous Monster Hunter you can you can only climb in a specific uh, vine or like uh, like branches of trees on the wall so it's very uh, linear so it's 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 quite an addition to actually uh, make it possible to actually climb anywhere so uh, i think what what's your thoughts on that the white bug thingy well i think i uh, using vines and platforms and so uh it's on mostly vines where they uh what's it called that white bug uh, what's the word no not white bug it's, it's like it's like overcoming uh, what's, what's the word again? Overcoming uh, obstacles. Mo mobility. Obstacles, yes. Yeah. So it's it's basically a lit uh, a mobility, uh, not really an issue, but mobility enhancement. Overcoming the mobility issues. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Which which is we only limited to uh, like what hundred to hundred fifty stamina max, mm -hmm. and yeah. using the vines and the platforms. Sometimes people use it to che uh, cheese monsters because uh, some attacks use uh, has the, 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 the jump attack. Yeah, the jump mm -hmm. attack, mostly people use it to spam uh, a lot of damage, which is mm -hmm. uh, quite good because sometimes some monsters need to be cheesed. 
but for why bug i think now peop- uh, players have more options to uh what's the word they have more options rather than relying uh the vines and the walls where they, they they run on the wall and then jump off and then try to mount it now they can use any thin air basically thin air to like good like to, to, to clutch onto the monsters i don't mm-hmm. know if it's still a thing in that game but mm-hmm. they can clutch they can roll over stuff mm-hmm. um i this why bug thing is basically gameplay changer mm, gameplay changer that's one thing uh what you call quality of life yeah something uh, yeah but yeah that's the thing <laughs> the quality of life uh, it, it can be a mod <laughs> But then again, <laughs> they're gonna release it on, uh, uh, release Monster Hunter Rise. And to sum it all up, it's it should have been in the previous game, but I guess they want to try to sell off, sell the game off, having a unique gameplay. I guess. Yeah, just mm-hmm. yeah, they, solving they're trying all, to selling out. They're, they're trying to selling that yeah. movement, that mobility as a sales point. Is, is that the word? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I've been playing this game for so for so long. I mean, this Monsanto World is my first game, but actually, it's Monsanto the first Monsanto, which was on PS2. Mm-hmm. But I suck at that because I was too young <laughs> to understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. But playing it now uh, in Monsanto World with all this um difficulty removed because comparing it to older generation and most of the world most of the world mm-hmm. is basically a more uh, friendly introduction to uh new players mm-hmm. yeah so probably in most of the rise they could have been they could have added um, a little bit more unique stuff rather than just a wire bug mm-hmm. yeah wire bug is a plus i would use it yeah why not I would abuse the shit out of it, but <laughs> it, it's it's just mobility and trying to mount monsters. And if you cheese it by using the jumping attack animation again and again, let, let, let's just leave it to the pros on how they're gonna cheese the monster. And let's speed see runners. how ah uh, yeah speed and speed runners too. And let uh for normal players like us, for the ones that who still stick around and want to buy that game. I guess it's more to like exploring the map to cheese yeah. a monster, deal damage. Nah, I don't think so. Probably they're still gonna go the vanilla way, which is standing in front of them and take a whole lot of damage mm-hmm. uh, without even thinking. So yeah, why a bug? Unique, but not so much. So it's 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 pretty much. Uh, um how to put it it's pretty much how grappling hook works but imagine imagine playing the the ps1 grappling. or ps2 spider-man where he slingshot into like thin air. That's, <laughs> ah, that's, okay that's I, I think i have a full exactly. i have a word for wire bug it's mm. an attachment yeah there you go yeah there you go you do it's still gonna have the same uh, gameplay but just a little bit of attachment yeah i think yeah. i i think i should have said that instead of lowering it 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 looks very promising. I would like to like play around with it. But even yeah, though like fun. Yeah, it'd be pretty fun. So um okay, the new monsters, these are like the the high quality pictures that I will show you one by one. So McNamolo, the main monster in Monster Hunter Rise, it's fearsome Fang Viren that hunts his prey and rep his malice. Um pretty much what most legendary monsters actually are, <laughs> really. And then we have uh Aknaso. it looks like a it's a bird viren basically. It stand on one. It's basically an ostrich, like I said. See, it stand on one leg, peculiar collar, pretty much. Um, um, the the things that I like to see is um, get Izuchi because I want to see how how the attack pattern on the monster actually is because it moves in a pack and it attacks in a pack as well. So it's a bird virant, surprisingly. Um, and it got a nail, a sharp nail as a tail. A hook, basically, it looks like a hook. Which looks very sick. Um, you, know, you know, Great Izuchi reminds me of, I mean, uh, Jagras, right? Because 
Jagras has a great Jagras, and now great Izuki. I guess there's a small ah, Izuki. yeah, okay. Because since they, uh, he, uh, it is using two of its smaller size Izuki. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. So I guess it's just like the Jagras, but a wolf form of it. It looks like a wolf. It's 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 a, it's a it's a hybrid of a wolf and a fox, I guess. No, no it's pure. It's 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 like the dinosaur. What do you call it? The raptor. Ah, they attack yeah. and oh, they attack and, no, and, and in packs the raptor. The ra- oh, the raptor, yeah, the raptor. Yeah, they attack in packs. Same same muscle they have. Oh, it remind muscle. me of the uh, uh, in Jurassic Park, the movie. That one meme. No, no, in the movie the. the Jurassic, yeah, he when he trained the raptors. Yeah, there you go. the raptors. There you go. I want to see a meme of this, yeah, but Monster Hunter exactly. Rise. <laughs> someone, someone will do that. There's, there, obviously, uh, <laughs> someone is working on that. So yeah. Hello. So Great Izuchi. Um, any thoughts on any other thoughts on Great Izuchi? It looks cool. It's a wolf. It has. But, but but we don't know. Uh, like I w- I would I would like to know their their weaknesses and what their what their ability actually oh, yeah, are. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, like I want I want to know what their specialty are. I guess we need to wait until the games come out. So these are the four that they announced in the trailer, but we don't know if there will be any more or any more upcoming after the game is ready. So we have to wait for that. And then the last one is the uh, is is the crocodile that I mentioned. That but Trena <laughs> Trenadon is also acceptable name for it. It's, it's, it's an FABN uh, junket around but it, it reminds me of the attacking scheme reminds me of uh, what is that small blue thing that always like uh, uh, what's the punching bag in Monster Hunter World ah uh, oh the the boxer is it is it no, a boxer no. it's, it's our punching bag we, oh we, our we punching bag those yeah, that uh, is blue it's like it's, it's it, it, oh, heat rocks it, Zizi, right? No, wait. It, no, oh, uh, fuck, what is that cutie, cutie boy? I forgot the cutie boy. Fuck. Most Hunter will love that fucking monster. Um, oh, God. That... <laughs> Dodogama, Dodogama, Dodogama. Dodogama, there, there you go. If oh, I pull up a, a, a picture of Dodogama. Oh, you should have fan, fan, fan out though. It's cute. Dodogama is, yeah, this this how Dodogama looks like. So, um... It's it's it's. I don't want to say it looks exactly like Dodogama because uh, he got bigger belly. Uh-huh. Um, it looks more like a fat Jagras. Yep, that eats rock. Fat, fat great Jagras, there you go. But it's a frog duck thingy. But it, it got a it got a ducklet. That's the thing. I don't know. It is what it is. It looks cool. Um, can't wait to like beat the living shit out of it. Uh, <laughs> if it jumps, I'll be super afraid. I'll be run, run away. It does look like a raptor, right? and it might, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I I bet that's I bet I bet that's a oh yeah. I want to know how they raw. Um, oh yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll be surprised if he, if if he actually swallow you whole and spit you out. Mm, war. If you look Dude. at <laughs> who would expect. Um. We experience war in a game now, <laughs> in an in a triple A game, mind you. Okay, so um, okay, uh, there'll be a new feature or system they'll be calling it. So basically, this is the Palamute, and the previous uh, pet system is called Palico. So they they introduce this new in Monster Hunter Rise, but I don't know if they'll be releasing this in Monster Hunter World or Iceborne. So we just have to wait. It might be exclusive to this title or in this game only, but we don't know. So um, this is basically a companion that you can bring around. Same thing with Pelico. So basically, what Pelico do is it will team up with you every time you hunt, especially solo, and it will help you like uh, something heals you, uh, follows you into combat. It will give you traps. So it got certain perks that you can actually let him have, and it will help you along alongside hunting or battling the monsters. So introducing another one wouldn't hurt. Mind you, it's it's pretty it's pretty um nice to see new additions like this, and with this new addition, you can pretty much previously you can bring only one pelico during a uh, 
during a session or during a hunt. But in this one, if you're playing solo, you can bring two Palicos or one Palico, one Palamute or two Palamutes. So uh, the Palamute you can ride, you can pretty much uh, do everything that you can do with a Palico, I believe. And it will, it will help you during the battle as well. So um, I don't know how it will play out or what the features actually is, but we have to wait until the game actually come out or more details of the game to be released before the game actually uh, come out in 26 on March next year. So um, it's very interesting. Uh, but I don't want to say it's a... Um, uh, it's a... People will look at this like this because Monster Hunter is a... I don't want to say hard, but some of the monsters can be a bit challenging. So when people say, oh, if, you, if, you, if you're a solo player, obviously some people couldn't afford or couldn't or doesn't want a Switch Online, doesn't have the reason to buy Switch Online. Just want to play it solo, offline, saying that, oh, people, uh, this, this are, is this a casual feature? Uh, what do you think on that? Like, like, like saying, um, oh, you can bring two pelicos now. Like, what, what you, 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 you can't, you cannot hunt alone or something. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not a casual move, but mind you, it's just a nice addition to the game itself. Mind you, we don't have a Monster Hunter World or Monster Hunter Iceborne like game on the Switch, or um, all we have is a Generation XX, I believe. That's the latest one for the Switch. But, and seeing this your new addition seems to open up much more possibilities on how the switch actually uh played out and uh i believe it is going to be an interesting add-on to the uh, switch library to the switch family um to even play uh, monster hunter and some people might be this is will be their first monster hunter even because they uh they only own the switch mind you it can play on the pc but you need a beefy one to even play it in the first place so it is what it is. So um, I don't think it'll be a. I don't. I don't think because you can have the option to not bring a palico, so it won't be a big deal. It's, if palico isn't your, uh, is uh, you're a huge fan of palico or this new feature of palimute, it's up to you, really. But like I said, Monster Hunter is a huge world, mind you. Uh, I think like before the introduction of riding, uh, having a rider to oh, yeah. to ride around Free the map. Rider. Yep. basically Monster Hunter is a huge that's this huge map you can traverse so it's gonna take some time for you to move from one area to another area so in the vanilla game you need to walk all the way from one point to another to chase that monster down then after Iceborne came out we have this option to even, to have right these small monsters to traverse around it's faster it's much more sleeker it saves much more time so um, I think what you're talking about that being like 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 being being able to traverse around in a base game instead of actually paying a, a paywall to actually get a feature. I mean, to me, it's quite it's quite a nice addition, but it's not as fast as I was expecting. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's it's like a collectible, you know. It doesn't hurt to have more things. I mean, you can go AFK on it, mm -hmm. and you can even perform mounting attack, mm -hmm. and it does climb over obstacle easily. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's kind of okay. If it if it doesn't even if it's not there, also it's not that much of a difference. It's it's an addition that I did not ask for, but okay. I it's, mean, it's mind you, I've been this is a routine for us who <laughs> have been playing this for. I I can see close to a year. I mean, I bought this last year around. Uh, let's see, September, I guess. Mm -hmm late 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 last year mm -hmm. but i managed to catch up with other other others and i was so into it i was playing it endlessly and because i've been dwelling in the game longer and milk tea also one of our group mates also been playing as long as i am mm -hmm. he is more knowledgeable of the nuka tranny of this of the game like mm -hmm. what to use on certain monsters Mm -hmm. how to be more efficient he's basically the the efficient japanese in malaysia i guess mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean he even have that title on discord name. for me free riders okay if it doesn't even include it in the game i uh, i won't even notice because i've been used to 
like sprinting across the map mm-hmm. without worrying about my stamina uh, going to down to zero because it's not that hard to keep your stamina up you don't have to hold it forever mm-hmm. so it's okay i guess i mean it, i i guess capcom was a bit bored and want to add want to cheer up the monster hunter world with something you know cute with the the passive creatures mm-hmm. it's uh, it's okay for me yeah Okay um I think I think I've done like an ask you about this. So for example um uh, let's uh let's take uh Apex Legend for example that you love to play. Mm-hmm. And let's say they started to introduce oh you can bring a uh, companion along like not not your not your squad for example if you play, playing solo then suddenly oh uh, introducing a new character uh, a new yeah, feature well, not not a new character I- a new feature where you can bring your companion along. Like what? What's your thoughts on about that? I I won't be surprised at first, because it kind of happened. <laughs> <laughs> the the latest the latest character, mm-hmm. uh, ultimate is a mini a mini gun. Oh, like this is like not any of the guns in the game. Uh, it's for her only. She call it Sheila. So oh, can, so so she, she can, can she can summon a minigun. Yeah, she can deploy it. Oh, like deploying a sentry. Oh, like that. <laughs> the sentry is a minigun. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh. So you this is her ultimate, uh, and everybody can use it unless you destroy it. Huh. You just deploy it, and it has like uh, uh, it's some angle, but it's not three sixty or one mm-hmm. eighty. It's like. Uh, Less than one eighty. Basically, Bastion in Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, you can you can be Holy Bastion. <laughs> so, your question was like a pet that you bring along and he be like. Oh, like a companion, you. like a small yeah, robot. Yeah, c- consider robot. consider the minigun is the pet. <laughs> it's the pet. It, if the minigun <laughs> if the minigun start walking, yeah, uninstall again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would be scared as shitless when oh. a minigun is chasing after me. I should have been. Run, run! <laughs> Nightmare. Yeah. It so, walks, it talks. It might be a bastion. It is a bastion. Run. Right now, games like ideas for new characters. Uh, it's it's impossible to be out of the box from other games. Mm-hmm. Kind of impossible, not yeah. really impossible. There's always that guy who will say, "Oh, this is like uh, on Paladins that character. Oh, this is like like what do you call it? Overwatch that character. Oh, something like that." I mean, yeah, they like to compete with each other. That's what Basi- they basically do. basically what they they always say is uh, copying or. Uh, stealing is is the is an act of uh flattery. It's like, well, t- in 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 a way, like there's there's limitations to that, uh, yeah. because not everything is original. At some point, at some point, it has to like, uh, refresh or recycle. It's, it's not yeah, wrong yeah, to recycle. take someone's concept. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, if it's a direct copy, a blatantly copy, then that's no, a no, problem. No, that's, that's a big yeah. that But if you crazy. take the concept, then that's okay in my book. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens to Mobile Legends and Battleborn, uh, especially. Battleborn, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's Taking the concept is like every designer's job. <laughs> yeah. Same as thing. Same as thing. With designer, we do that a lot. Yeah, taking taking the concept and remaking something better, sure. For example, uh, Pokemon is getting pretty like pretty controversial release for the past few years, starting with its mm. seventh gen, and uh, someone else is actually trying to make uh, a new Pokemon called Temtem. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And people and that that I thought that game gonna get hard, gonna get uh, bash really hard, but no, people actually no, love it actually surprisingly. Like it. Even avid Pokemon uh, uh, fan are like, "Hey, this is better than Pokemon itself," which is kind of surprising. So I haven't played it or seen it in action yet, but it's going to be released on the Switch. I think it's being rumored. Oh no, it's going to be released on PS Five and Xbox. Surprisingly. Oh wow. 
That's so interesting. Im- so yeah, uh, seeing it from a PC to a console release just like that, it's it's gonna put some tension on uh, Pokemon itself because they already have like a co- competition already. Not just from Yokai Watch, mind you. Yokai Watch is a whole new. Oh yeah, uh, game, Pokemon. Pokemon is exclusive, right? Exclusive to Nintendo. Nintendo, yes. Consoles. Yeah, and people have been yearning mm. to actually play Pokemon like games on mm. other platform, and Peaceful. this is the this is it. My God, so it's like, it's like, oh, it's like Paladin. <laughs> yeah, Paladin is, is free on every platform. Ah. Exactly. So, um, it's it's kind of it's, it's it's I'm 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 interested to see what where where Temtem should go. Uh, where Yokai Watch is going. So Yokai Watch uh, is exclusive, but Tentem isn't. So Tentem is going to be released on fear next gen consoles, and I'll be surprised if it's trying to compete with Pokemon head on head if it were to release on Switch. I mean, it's bound to happen. Yeah. So l- we're gonna wait and see about that. And I think that's the topic for another day. So now. Um, Again, I'm gonna, gonna go to real quick. This is the hunter base Kamura Village. It looks very clean. It looks very cute. I like the art style. Japanese Remind me kind of, of look, right? old Jap- yes, yeah, very Japanese. Yeah, people that scene. Like. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. The banner. Um, it looks very, uh, it looks very nice. I uh, would like to see a different shot from this, but they don't have. I think mostly on the, uh, trailer, but it's only close ups of certain places. So uh, uh, I cannot make up what these places are. I think this is your gathering hub. This oh, might workshop. be your. Oh, workshop. That could be a workshop. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, it could be the, 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 the gathering hub workshop thing looks kind of a mix of Japanese and Norse influence with the dragon on top. Oh, yeah, you, oh, yeah, there you yeah. go. The design, but others look like Japanese, like proper Japanese. Yeah, yeah, I mean, mm, they're using a trees. Cart, there's a water f- cart field there, Sakura tree. Yeah, Sakura tree. I'm guessing I that th- could be a gathering hub, the Sakura trees. You know how they are. They like. To oh, there's there's a dock here. I just realized. That's a oh. like a small waterfall. River. Yeah, there's a waterfall. small waterfall. Yeah. A dock. The living in. Mm. Not Very bad. Nice. Looks yeah. nice. Decent. So okay, I okay. guess. Uh, what? So I'm guessing most of the mon- monsters are like high altitude with this kind of terrain. So they might very more, oh yeah they might very be more mobile 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 mobile, yeah, mobile. mobile. since high altitude so they need to climb on things more agile that could be a nice con yeah i guess we have to wait until the game actually release so there's their new um <laughs> I know. Cool. location that they introduced which is this is one of the location so it's called shrine ruins it's basically a uh, uh, abandoned shrine, which is in the name. Oh, so let me guess. They have story elements there. Mm. <coughs> Obviously. Yeah, the shrine. So, um, it's they they actually tease a day and night cycle, which is right here. Rose of oh, monsters yeah, yeah. day and night, which look, kind look is which picture. is surprising. Like you can see here itself. Oh, looks I mean, surprisingly most, good. Monster Hunter uh, wolves have a day and night cycle, but it's not that apparent. It's just. Oh yeah, it's dark. It's nighttime. Oh yeah, it's daytime. There's no change of behavior on monsters. Yeah. So they might in- include the yeah. behavior change. Like they're more talking during the night and during the day they're more lazing around, hanging mm-hmm. out. That could be nice. Basically, National Geographic all over again. <laughs> Basically, in in Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Iceborne, they uh, monsters have specific behaviors, but doesn't behave differently in in different time or different. Night, uh, day, and day, day and night cycle, which is, I would like to see uh, how they how they tackle this. Like if if monsters actually behave differently, but I don't think so. Seeing how uh, monster hunter mechanics work, but if if they were to do that, it's kind of do- sort of defeat the purpose. Like for example, oh um, let's take for a uh, speedrunner for example. Oh, it's better to speedrun at night because they're kind of lazing around. For some monsters, uh, and uh, day is they 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 kind of like praying for other monsters. They don't focus on you much, so it's better speed on the day. Yeah. So it's kind of like defeat the purpose. It's sort of like RNG at that point. They don't want any more RNG other than the critical hits, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> I think this, I think they just leave it to that. But I guess uh, we just have to wait this for another day or another release uh, info. So I think that's pretty much it. Other than that, is if you pre-order, you get a. Uh, 
limited that, edition. Isn't that a golden retriever? Or? Yes, a golden retriever and a Pelico Lead Armor. Oh my god, golden retriever, of course. Wait, I don't have the cash for that. Fucking, oh, that's so unfortunate. Wait, forest cat, an actual fluff boy. And they actually give a novice talisman for some extra resistance in the early stage. Uh, I don't know what huh. the novice talisman I'm, do. I'm, I think I'm, guess, I'm guessing it's like, um, I'm, uh, what do you call that in most of the world? A charm? No, an amulet? No, not. Uh, I think it's a necklace thing. The necklace accessory thing. Is it a charm? Yeah. I think it's a charm, yeah. It's a charm. Yeah. So I'm guessing. It is a charm. Defense up, attack up, I guess. Yeah. So standard edition, deluxe edition, classes edition, and amiibo. So. Um, standard edition, the base game. The deluxe edition, they give you like a armor or like a layered armor, I believe. Classes yeah. edition give you. Let's take a look. Okay, is that a? Oh, they give you an am- amiibo. Uh-huh. Uh, icon sticker. Um, and a uh, animal really? pin. A Kamura. The mark. amiibo is worth it though. Yeah. For the amiibo alone, it's worth it. Okay. So the pre-order isn't up yet, so I cannot click it. So I assume people will like refreshing the page over and over again to see the pre-order but if unless you're an avid uh collector like i said or like a huge mod hunter fan you will actually do that and actually try to get it um out of the bat um i will get it me and royal milk tea will obviously get it because we own switch but other people who doesn't own a switch but uh love mod hunter because of the game from pc will also buy it for the for the uh, uh novelty reasons so um, obviously the three amiibos that we mentioned, uh, the Palamute, the Palco, and the uh, legendary box uh, uh, monster. Magna Malo. So, Magga, Magga. Magna Magla Magla Malo. <laughs> oh my God, this is worse than English. <laughs> Holy shit. Magna Mag- Malo. Magna Malo. Okay, Magna Malo. So Magna Malo is a tiger-looking thing, the swan-looking yeah. bra, which is Akonosum. The guy is really pretty, looking like a raptor wolf breed. The Tin Tetranodon looks, I mean, it's a crocodile, but from afar. That crocodile. A big, a big, a, big chung, a chunky boy, you could say. Yeah, a chunky, a chunky and crocodile. A chunky crocodile with a beak as a mouth. I mean, if you're looking at it from a distance, you might mistake it as a beak rather than a, a crocodile's Wait. mouth. I mean, yeah. I no, mean, Devil Joe is different. Okay, Devil, Devil Joe, is, Joe different. is more like large jaw, dislocated jaw, something like that, like a yeah. T Rex kind of boy. This one, this one is very. This guy, this guy is a looking beak, looking like a fucking beak. Wario man. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> eat you a close meal. <laughs> and then there's Mini Watch it. Um, releasing twenty six March, the same day as the um. What the game again? What did that? What did they cover? This one? No. Ori? No. Ori and the Blind Forest? Is it? No. Ooh, ooh. No, right. Rune Factory. There you go. Rune Factory. Yeah, we're releasing the same day. Oh no, no. Uh, uh Balan Wonderland. There you go. Twenty six. Twenty six. So yeah, uh, one to four supports online and local co-op, but online play requires pay subscription. So already been confirmed. Mm-hmm. So and Matan Stories too. Matan Stories too. We just there's not much information. That's in just mobile, right? The trailer and that's it. Um? That's in mobile, right? It's available for three DS, but sadly three DS got discontinued. But it's still ah, selling. You can okay, buy it okay. online. Uh, going to be released. Uh, it already been released for Android and iOS. Uh, right now the. The, the, the stories will come out on the Switch. So I actually assume if the 3DS wasn't discontinued, they're going to release that on the 3DS, but it kind of defeat the purpose of actually making, uh, uh, increasing the sales of the Switch. Pretty much. Mm. Yeah, so it's kind of sad seeing that games being discontinued. So I might, uh, so in the following months, uh, probably going to into Christmas, I might be buying several used uh nintendo games that people don't doesn't want anymore because Ooh. they don't see any value in them Quite so i nice. might be collecting it now because it seemed much more valuable uh it, 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 it seemed like a good reason to buy yeah. them because but i've been collecting pokemon games but not any other games sadly so yeah it's a, it's a good time to actually collect so are you are you going to buy 3ds 
nah. Because of because of this discontinuation. Nah, nah, nah. I don't think so. Like I told you, nothing. To me, PC is everything. So. I mean, if no. I if I go through what games that is available in 3DS, there I might consider buying it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. oh. it's never too late. I mean, this is what happens to Game Boy. All the Game Boys, the Game Boys. <laughs> Game Boy. That I missed out. I mean, I miss playing those games. Mm. So I might mm. want to use an emulator. Yeah. I, can't, I can buy it, but you know how people yeah, exactly, are. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are insane. It depends. Yeah, yeah. Unless if I want to be a collector and collect it, the physical copy of it, then sure. Yeah, then it's, of course. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who am I going to flex? A woman? Good <laughs> <laughs> luck with that shit. <laughs> hey, check out my Game Boy. Advance <laughs> Game Boy Color. Want want to want to see my Yu Gi Oh collection? Okay. Um. Just a just a, a small uh, housekeeping. Next week we'll be covering, um, Fatalis, on Monster <gasps> Hunter. Fatalis and so Fatalis is coming on. So Fatalis is coming on first October, and we'll be covering some other news on the um. Probably on Xbox because they're going to be releasing a new, uh, new features on the Xbox Gaming Pass. We can't compare anything, right? Since there's no way that we can do. Yeah, sort of. I mean, we could just compare the design, I guess, and yeah, what games that we could play. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the most I can do. Okay. Um. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you guys next week, same time. Thank you. Upload, we'll see you. I guess. A bit. We don't have proper schedule. No, <laughs> but it's always Friday. I wait no, Thursday, Sunday. I guess. Weekend. All right, all right. Bye bye.